Thank you for trying out the Dividend Pro plugin. Our pre-made template library will help you build high-quality websites much faster than before. In this video, we will discuss 5 steps to get you started with Dividend Pro. Step 1. Install and activate the plugin. The Dividend Pro plugin is installed like any other WordPress plugin by going to Plugins Add New. Click the Upload Plugin button, select the plugin's zip file which you downloaded from your account and then click the Install Now button. After the upload is complete, activate the plugin. Then finish up by inserting and activating your API license key. The license key can be found in the order confirmation email or in the membership area of the WP Den website. If, however, you purchased Dividend Pro from the Elegant Teams marketplace, your license will be connected to your Elegant Teams API key, the same API key which is used to activate the DV team. Be sure your Elegant Teams API key is generated from the same account in which Dividend Pro was purchased and confirm that your API key is indeed activated. To confirm, go to DV Team Options Updates and make sure your username and API key have been inserted. Step 2. Check the System Status Report. Every hosting environment is different. Let's quickly confirm if your hosting environment settings are optimized for the DV team. To do this, go to the Dividend Pro dashboard and select the System Status tab. Look at the status column. If everything's OK and marked in green, hats off, you're good to go. If, however, you see any orange warning signs, we recommend that you update those values for the best results. If the values are different by 10% or so, you should be OK to proceed. In case you need to update hosting settings, contact your hosting support for assistance. Step 3. Preparing DV for development. It is considered the best practice to deactivate all caching plugins and code minification settings during development. Caching is good for live websites that are receiving visitors, but it's not helpful when you are trying to build pages. When you are done with building, you can always activate the caching and minification again. The first thing to do is to deactivate any caching plugins that you may have installed. As already said, you can activate them back later when you're done building your website. Next, go to Builder, Advanced and disable static CSS file generation. Also enable the latest DV Builder experience and the classic editor. This will make it easier to edit pages on the backend administration screen. This setting will launch the DV Builder as the first option instead of asking you to choose your builder each time you start a new page. Let's finish up by saving the changes. Step 4. Search and save from the layout finder. Now that preparation is done, let's quickly save and load some DV layouts. Go to the DVDEM Pro plugin dashboard. You can browse for layouts in the layout finder tab. Use the search box or the filters below to find the layouts you need. For example, to find a good looking homepage, toggle Layouts and click Homepage. Then click the Save button. This will send the layout from the cloud library over the internet to the server where your website is hosted. Once this process completes, it will be saved in your website's TV library and become available to use anywhere on your website. You can also download the layout file in a JSON format to your local device folder for later import. This method is helpful if you occasionally experience unstable internet or have a slow connection. You can import the JSON file using the portability feature in Divi. That was easy enough. Now let's use a saved layout to create a new page. Make sure to enable the Divi Builder if it's not enabled already. Click the plus icon to add saved layouts. Select your Saved Layouts tab, then find the layout you saved previously. Click the layout to load it. Now you can start editing with Divi. When you are done editing, publish the page to save the final version. You can also save it as a draft to come back to it later. Step 5. What's the difference between sections and modules? I just showed you how to load page layouts. However, you can also save and load individual page sections and modules. It is important to make a clear distinction between sections and modules because they are loaded via different methods through the DV interface. Let me show you what I mean. This label indicates popular DV sections in the library. 
DV sections contain two or more DV modules with additional styles. DV modules are labeled the same as the Elegant Themes does. This way you can easily find what you are looking for. The library is mostly grouped in sections because it makes you work faster and easier. Sections are combined to create complete page layouts. The only exception here is the DV button module. A button module is not placed inside a section, it is a standalone module. To add a section from the library, click this blue plus icon. Blue is the color associated with sections. Select Add from Library and click the section you have saved. To add new modules, click the green plus icon then select your row. Click the Dividend Pro tab to save new modules from the library. If you already have saved some, click Add from Library tab and select your module. In this video, we covered 5 steps to get you started with Dividend Pro. We discussed how to install and activate the plugin, checking the system status report, preparing DV for development, how to search and save layouts, and we discussed the difference between sections and modules. I hope this overview is enough to get you off to a flying start. If you still have questions, you can get help in the following ways. Check the Tutorials tab on the plugins dashboard, submit a support request on the website, or send an email to support at wpden.com. Thanks for watching and good luck with your projects!